the Redskins announced last week that Scott McLuhan is their new GM. We know this team has a lot of stuff to do in the offseason. They'll have to upgrade at a lot of positions. They also have to hire a new defensive coordinator. So with that in mind, Dan Sternberg, I'll start with you. What should be the new general manager's first order of business? Well, he's already said he's not going to be in the coaching hiring business. So I think that the defensive coordinator job, while he might have some input, is not going to be the top thing on his plate. I mean, to me, there's, there's two big questions, which would be uh, what are they going to do with the first draft pick and what are they going to do with the quarterback position? I mean, to me, I would rather have this guy worry about the draft pick. Um, that, that is where he has shown his expertise. That's why he was hired. And so to me, he, he talked so much about offensive linemen. He talked about defensive linemen. He talked about how NFC East football games, at least traditionally, have involved the running game. Yeah. And, and I think that his, his job is to beef up the lines on both sides, both sides of the line of scrimmage, the offensive line and the defensive line. Um, maybe trade down in the draft, maybe find guys in the later rounds that the Redskins haven't done lately. But to me, if he can rebuild the lines, that would be number one on his list. You know, where do you have, what, what should be his first priority as, as a new GM? I agree. You got to start with the offensive line. Doesn't really matter who you have a quarterback back there. If they're not being productive, they're not going to be productive. So, um, and that and that's what we saw. How Dallas has gotten so successful. Yeah. I mean, they they have made a conscious effort to build through the offensive line in the draft. Um, Redskins would would be better served going that route as well. But you can't ignore the secondary. I mean, they they have a ton of holes there as well, especially safety. You know, we saw some cornerback issues with um, you know David Amerson and and. You know, so there's, there's just tons of holes. But, again, championship teams are always built in the trenches. Got to start with the offensive line. Yeah. Marissa, let me ask you this, though. You look at the four teams that are still in the playoffs. You can certainly say three of them have franchise quarterbacks, and Russell Wilson is on his way to becoming that. Is that the most important part for the Redskins and Scott, or is it, should it be other positions they need to address? You know, he has said, like, I, I believe he said that he's going to, you know, not – totally abandon RG3 at this point in time. So it seems to me that he wouldn't uh, waste a top pick on a, on a quarterback. But um, he also said he would need to work on that position. And as you've just said, you can't really go about being a winning team without a franchise quarterback that you can rely on. And right now, we don't have that. So it is, well, I agree he has to address you know, the O-line, deal, everything like that. But he does need to address the quarterback situation as well. How he's going to do that is, is the big question. Well, Dan, are we looking at, what, a two-, three-year rebuilding process? I mean, what's like a kind of I mean, a, a forecast? I mean, it's kind of an interesting question because that's something that the Redskins have never done under Dan Snyder. They haven't done a one-year rebuilding project. You know, it's always trying to <laughs> fix things right, right now, away. Yeah. And, you know, it's worked like three times briefly, but for the most part it hasn't worked. Will fans have patience? You know, fans right now say, hey, let's, let's tear everything down. Let's build from the foundation. That's what fans are saying now. If they go 5 and 11 and 6 and 10 the next two years, are fans still saying, oh, yeah, we got patience. Let's take four years. I don't know. Is Dan Snyder saying that? I don't know. Um, is Jay Gruden going to survive a four, five, six win season a couple years in a row? I don't know. Um, but, I mean, I think that based on what he did in San Francisco, that is the that, – and that's what teams, good teams do. They take a while to get there, and then they have a, a you know, a – five, six, seven year window of competing. And that's certainly seems preferable to floundering around, but I don't know if people will have patience when it actually yeah, you're not, you're not, You can't build an offensive line in one season. We know that right. Dallas, Dallas took a while, but Marissa, let me ask you, is the hiring of McLuhan at least a sign that the Redskins may be starting to get things right and moving in the right direction? This is the cycle of hope. We've had so many, <laughs> yeah. you know? So there's so many ups and downs. It's like, you hate to say, Yes, definitely. This is a new start because yeah. you don't want to be disappointed again. At the same time, you don't want to be, you know, negative Nancy being like, it's it's all shot to hell and we should just give up. And Negative Neil. I think right. you could have said Negative Neil. Appreciate you uh, Next. censoring that. Well, uh, Neil, I'll ask you this. Do you, do you believe, though, given the history of Dan Snyder and the front office, that there'll be no meddling and that this guy will have complete control of player personnel? Oh, no way. But <laughs> I mean, he does have the... The, he does have the track record, at least, coming in to say, I've done this with two organizations now. So you'd have to think he'd probably have a lot more latitude than we've seen in the past. And it was definitely a sign that the organization realized they were going in the wrong direction. But I agree with Dan. I don't think that they have the patience to, to make this work because it takes more than one draft pick, right? I mean, they're going to have to stockpile draft picks, they're going to have to be patient, and those are two strengths that this organization does not have. Well, and even like, I mean, even would, last year with the Deshaun Jackson thing, is that is that the kind of move? That's the, that's a Dan Snyder move. Is that a Scott right. McClure move? Is, I don't know. Yeah. 